So 900 megahertz actually does work. I'm in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and this repeater is in Sevierville, which is, uh, well, repeater book says it's 6.6 .6 miles from me. It's on a mountain. And by the way, Sevierville is also where Tintech is, or where it used to be anyway. So, check this out. It ID'd a minute ago after I oh, first brought it up and identified with my call sign. But that was it. So I finally uh, at least gotten some response, a repeater response anyway, on 900 megahertz. So there it is. I forgot to mention that this is with the home built antenna that uh, the previous video was about. See, it's 927.0625, 151.4 PL. But anyway, as I was saying, that was, that's with the same simple antenna, but I did what I talked about in that video. Oh, I cut the, I took the, the sleeve from a PL259 and cut it in half and then soldered some radial wires on it to uh, beef up the performance a little bit because I felt like uh, just with the clamp as a ground plane it wasn't working all that great at all so I figured uh, putting four quarter wave ground radials on it like that would help and uh, you know I mean like I said it's getting into the repeater 6.6 .6 miles away solidly and that's not very far but you know it's for a uh, early attempt at 900 megahertz I'm definitely going to call that a success This one's much farther away. It's more like, I'll have to look back at it, but it's about 25 miles away. But uh, it's 927.0125. And uh, another 900 megahertz repeater, and you can hear it coming back to me, solid. So, yeah, I'm gonna say this antenna is working a lot better. I just looked further into it and this repeater is in Knoxville and it's uh, 23.7 miles from me so that's pretty good now I've got this little homebrew quarter wave antenna propped up on the dashboard of my truck inside and I'm sitting here with mountains all around me and uh, not up high at all and with about 12 watts I'm getting into a repeater that's nearly 20 just shy of 25 miles from me so that's pretty good so 900 megahertz does work well for this type of thing so that's pretty cool Yeah, Jim, it's actually pretty warm here, just raining quite a bit, but uh, that's supposed to go away later today. But yeah, it's uh, according to repeater book, you're about 
I think you're about 25 miles from me. So, uh, that's, uh, that's fine business. Yeah, there are a couple of, uh, couple of 900 repeaters in the Huntsville area listed in re repeater book, but they don't actually exist. So, I'm happy to have, uh, found some, uh, some activity up here. Now, there's some in northern Georgia also, but I haven't gone over to where I can try those out yet. But, uh, yeah, it's good to see some pockets of 900 activity around here. And uh, I just got interested in the band maybe about a month ago. And uh, I've got a, a Kenwood TK981. Uh, over. Yeah, Roger that. Yeah, you definitely do have some good range because uh, the antenna I'm using is just a, uh, I've got a quarter wave piece of wire that I've plugged into the, directly into the end connector on the back of the radio on, on the little six inch or whatever pigtail. And then a PL259 shell with some radials soldered to it. And I've got a, uh, just a clamp to prop that up, kind of like a tripod. Got it sitting on the dashboard of my truck. So, uh, that's apparently enough to make it 25 miles. But, uh, yeah, on the, the closer repeater, there's one on uh, 927.0625, I think is the one you're talking about, and it's listed as Severeful. And uh, that one is only about seven miles from me, and it is operational. I was able to get into it with no problem, but uh, didn't hear any uh, any traffic on it. Over. Okay, here we are, 25 miles away from this repeater, in the camper, ignore the clutter, but we're sitting in the camper with the little homemade quarter wave antenna. Here we go, 12 watts.
that clicking sound is the power supply in the camper because we're plugged in we're not on battery power if we were on battery power it would be a lot quieter we wouldn't have that clicking noise from the uh, power supply which I think is a switch mode power supply but uh, the amazing thing is that with this little homebrew antenna inside the camper down at ground level not up on a mountain or anything we're hitting a repeater 25 miles away on 900 megahertz.